Let's start with my testimonial again. Six years ago, a little over six years ago, I, I was introduced to raw living foods lifestyle through Creative Health Institute. I feel healthier than I felt when I was in my 30s. So that's my raw testimonial, and if you've been around this as long as I have, it's just stereotypical. It's the things you hear all the time. If we think of our health as, like this Rubik's Cube, where we have our physical, mental, and emotional sides, well, if this is physically good, physically poor, um, if this is mentally good, mentally poor, etc., you see there's a lot of relationships here. And to really feel good, well, this would be like I feel good physically, mentally, but I don't feel good emotionally. The thing that a good diet does for us is standardizes one side of this cube, if you will. It, it guarantees that physically I feel good. Now, the funny thing about the body is that when the body feels good physically, after a while, the emotional and the mental side, actually physically, I'm, I'm, I'm doing really good, I've detoxified my body, and my mental side starts working better. Why? Because my brain chemistry is better. As we become highly raw, we turn our body from acidic to alkaline. The body thrives on alkaline environment. Cancer thrives in an acidic environment with a, high, with a low oxygen content. When we become highly raw, our body becomes alkaline and the oxygen content of our, of our blood goes up. And that's why cancer cells wither and die. Cancer goes into total remission. While that's affecting the body here, it's also affecting my brain. The brain comes to a more normal cycle. In other words, mentally, I become better. Emotionally, I stabilize. That's why you see videos out there about healing mental illness with, with foods. So physical, mental, emotional fall into place through good body chemistry, good body chemistry coming from good diet. Now consider that the body is truly made up of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual components. That would be like a Rubik cube like this, this 16 sided Rubik cube. Physical, mental, emotional have put themselves together, then the spiritual must fall into place. Spiritual. The surprise is for the last episode of the season, we have cherry berry cheesecake. And look at all the good stuff we have for it today. Yeah, I don't see any cheese. There's a substitute for all dairy and meat and animal products. Okay. For every cooked food, there's a substitute. Three-layer cheesecake. Cherry or berry cheesecake. Cherry berry cheesecake. Well, Jim, it's it's been a whole lot of fun this season. putting 13 together weeks these, already. These Isn't that amazing? Of Grassy Roots. Yeah. And I hope our viewers have, have learned something and experimented a little bit and done some of your own research, maybe, on some of the things we've brought to you that maybe you've never heard about before. I know I have. Um, and look forward to more Grassy Roots episodes. We're going to take a period of time to prepare some new ones. But they just signed me to another 13-week contract, so... Here we go. Yeah, here we go. We're going to do the rest of the Dr. Ann Wigmore lifestyle. <laughs>